In phenylketonuria, also called PKU, can be broken down, phenylketone is a product of the amino acid phenylalanine and urea means a substance present in urine. So people with phenylketonuria who are untreated have phenylketones in their urine. Now, amino acids are the basic building blocks that make up proteins. Phenylalanine is one of the essential amino acids, meaning our bodies can't make but must be acquired through food that contains protein. Since the body can't store amino acids, any excess amino acids are converted into glucose or ketones and used for energy. Phenylalanine is converted to tyrosine by phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme. Tyrosine is then used to synthesize various molecules. It is turned into dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter that neurons use to communicate, norepinephrine and epinephrine, which are also neurotransmitters and hormones used by the sympathetic nervous system, and the pigment melanin, which gives colour to the skin, hair and eyes. Alternatively, when phenylalanine levels in the blood are high, it gets converted by the enzyme phenylalanine transaminase into phenylketones such as phenylpyruvate, phenylactate and phenylacetate. The most common cause of hyperphenylalanemia is deficiency of the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase, which catalyzes the conversion of phenylalanine to tyrosine. When phenylalanine metabolism is blocked because of a lack of phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme, minor shunt pathways come into play, yielding several intermediates that are excreted in large amounts in the urine and in the sweat. These impart a strong musty or mousy odour to affected infants. In phenylketonuria, the elevated blood phenylalanine levels can change the way the brain functions. This is because phenylalanine uses the same transporters to get across the blood-brain barrier as other amino acids, including tyrosine and tryptophan. Tyrosine is needed to synthesize dopamine and norepinephrine, and tryptophan is needed to synthesize neurotransmitter serotonin. As phenylalanine levels rise, it occupies all the transporters making it hard for tyrosine and tryptophan to get across the blood-brain barrier. As a result, dopamine, norepinephrine and serotonin levels in the brain begin to fall, and that leads to problems in brain development and intellectual disability. Affected infants are normal at birth, but within a few weeks develop a rising plasma phenylalanine level, which impairs brain development. Usually, by six months of life, severe mental retardation becomes evident. About one-third of these children are never able to walk, and two-thirds cannot talk. Seizures, other neurologic abnormalities, decreased pigmentation of hair and skin, and eczema often accompany the mental retardation in untreated children. Treatment consists of a special diet, low in phenylalanine and supplemented with tyrosine, since tyrosine becomes an essential amino acid in phenylalanine hydroxylase deficiency. Dietary restriction should be continued and monitored indefinitely. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.